A skin, burning watch, a gross ET finger, and a stripper doll. In this video, we're going to take a look at the 10 worst toys ever made. Number 10, Radioactive Science Set. To kick off our list of the worst toys ever made, we have the genius toy that practically could have become a mini atomic bomb. The Gilbert U-238 Atomic Energy Laboratory was a toy with the intention of letting kids create and watch chemical and nuclear reactions. Yes, science! While at first glance it may seem harmless, this toy used real-life uranium in it. If you're unaware, uranium is a radioactive substance used to create weapons like the atomic bomb. It's incredibly toxic, and a scientist at the time noted that exposure to the radiation for a moment would be like getting an entire day's worth of UV rays from the sun, meaning it would burn you. In 2006, this toy was hailed by Radar Magazine as one of the 10 most dangerous toys of all time. Thankfully, it didn't sell very well, so not many were injured or impaired because of the toy. Number 9. Toy Uterus Whoever thought this next toy on the list must have been thinking they were making toys for adults and not young children. The uterus plushie from Giant Microbes is an anatomically correct uterus that many would say could be used for education, but sadly it's marketed as a toy rather than a scientific product. While you may be thinking to yourself that this really doesn't look too bad and seems relatively harmless, think about what if they made a boy one, a plushie for boy genitals. This seems wildly inappropriate for a child's toy and definitely won't be picking one up anytime soon. Nothing screams, worst gift ever, like an anatomically correct uterus plushie. Will you get this for your child as a gift? If you think you might, then maybe you should think about getting a different gift this Christmas. Number 8. Breast Growing Barbie With how long the brand has been around, Barbie is no stranger to making controversial products over the years. And this next toy on the list is one of the worst. Meet the Barbie Growing Up Skipper Doll. Published in the year 1974, Skipper seemed to upset adults right out of the box with its ridiculous design concept. The Barbie company wanted to cover the topic of puberty in their next line of toys, so Growing Up Skipper was born to little praise. With just this simple twist of her arm, Skipper goes from child to teen. A fun idea in theory, but the way it's executed is just bad. They make her taller and made her breasts grow exponentially in size. Not only did this set an unrealistic expectation for young girls regarding their puberty, it's just so inappropriate. If you think these were bad, things are about to get worse. Keep watching to see what's next. Number 7. Trolls Private Area You'd think that by 2020, toy makers would have learned what is and isn't okay to put on toys and dolls. Well, if you did think that, you've thought wrong. In a toy based on the hit 2020 film Trolls World Tour, one of the biggest toy companies in the world, Hasbro, released this cute toy based on the film's main character, Poppy. While it may look harmless at first, one small button placement caused an uproar with parents everywhere. Pressing the button on the doll makes Poppy say and react in a lot of different ways, such as giggling and gasping. The only problem is that this button is placed right between the doll's legs. This toy went viral when a mom from Utah shared a video showing this part of the doll and talking about her anger toward the toy makers. What was Hasbro thinking? There's nothing to joke about for this toy. This is just wrong. Stay away from private parts, Hasbro. Number 9. Drug Dealer Doll I don't know about your parents, but I think it's safe to say that most parents wouldn't want to get their child a doll that's a drug maker. So when Toys R Us released a line of dolls surrounding the characters from the hit adult show Breaking Bad, they quickly had to issue a recall amidst parents filing numerous complaints. The complaints all came together into a petition to get them recalled, and obviously they were successful. Parents complained that the dolls glamorized drug use and borderline inspired children to do drugs or to make their own drugs. Yeah, let's say that kids doing drugs is a very bad thing. Maybe if these toys were put on something like Amazon, where more adults could get their hands on them rather than children, they would have been a bit more successful. What about these toys would even make a child want to get them? There's nothing really appealing to kids in the first place. Number 5. Murderous Narwhal Everyone wants to be on the Avengers nowadays, even cute animals like narwhals. To be an Avenger, you need to fight and protect others. But sadly, this narwhal toy only does one of those things. If you don't know already, narwhals are sea lion-like creatures with long horns on their heads like unicorns. This toy titled The Avenging Narwhal features a cute narwhal toy. Yes, he's doing a horrible thing. The playset comes with different colored horns for the narwhal and the other three smaller animals, a penguin, koala, and seal. They're so cute. But what's on their stomachs? It's a hole for the narwhal to stab through. How scary is that? 
Octavox says that these three little guys are natural enemies to the narwhal, but it's hard to believe when they look so darn cute. How could a kid bear to stab these creatures? This toy may be titled like it could be an Avenger, but it's really more of a villain the Avengers would need to stop. Number 4. Roadkill Cat Plush If you like stuffed animals, you certainly know of Beanie Babies. But did you know of their dark and gross competition? Meet the Meanies series of plush toys. First introduced in 1997, they're quite the opposite of your average animal plush toy, but there's one in specific that makes our skin crawl. A dead cat that's been run over by a car. I'm sorry, but this might be trying too hard to be different from Beanie Babies. It also comes with a poem like Beanie Babies do. Splat the roadkill cat didn't cross at the green. A big truck was coming that couldn't be seen. To the left and right, this cat did look. And now poor Splat is as flat as a book. What the f Starting out, things get even worse. Keep watching until the end. Number 3. Stripper Doll If this item on our list doesn't totally weird you out, we're not sure what will. Most parents want their kids to grow up to be doctors, actors, or lawyers, but the ones that bought this toy must not. A picture posted to the website ParentDish.com in 2009 showed a parent who found this pole dancing doll in a local toy store. Now that's bad, but it gets worse. The graphics on the box say a variety of things including style, up and down, go round and round, and worst of all, flash. In what world did people think it was okay to make a toy like this? Why would we ever want kids to think they should take up pole dancing at such a young age? They're just kids. Some people thought it was a hoax, but a writer at the website Gizmodo, Jesus Diaz, wrote in an article that there seemed to be no photo editing done whatsoever, saying, it didn't seem photoshopped to me. It feels more like the typical Chinese-made product you can only find in low-cost stores. I think we can all agree on one thing from this list. It's probably for the best to keep adult topics and things far, far away from any kind of kid's toy. Number 2. Gross E.T. Finger So many of us loved the movie E.T. growing up. The final scene of E.T. saying, phone home, made our hearts melt. But this toy finger does the opposite. Much like the super cool foam Hulk hands, this toy was released in hopes of giving kids the opportunity to reenact the iconic scene from the movie, but it ended up looking a lot worse than a finger. I can't imagine what parents must have thought when they found this laying around their homes. The toy company caught so much trouble from parents that they were forced to re-release the toy as a full E.T. hand instead of just the finger. A much better version of the toy for sure. But it didn't make parents forget the horrible thing it once was. I don't think I can forget this gross toy, honestly. Let's hope they never remake E.T. and get the idea to make another one of these glowing finger toys. Let's keep E.T. as a DVD. Number 1. Skin Burning Watch Pretty much every kid has gotten the chance to have a McDonald's Happy Meal and collect the wonderful toys that are placed inside. Except for the last toy on our list. This one changed everything. The idea of a fast food restaurant offering sports and activity watches for kids to watch how much they eat and keep track of their exercises is actually a very good idea. But the Step It watch from McDonald's needed to be quickly recalled after over 70 families filed complaints stating that their children were experiencing blisters and even burns a mere 8 minutes after after first putting on the watch. McDonald's needed to damage control and immediately recalled the watches, but so much damage had already been done. A representative from McDonald's went on the record to say this in response, Nothing is more important to us than the safety and well-being of our customers, which is why upon learning about concerns with these bands, we acted swiftly to stop the distribution of these products. Kids can't go out and be active if doing so burns their skin so bad the item had to be recalled. Enjoyed the video? Now watch this one.